A full safety inspection was ordered following the collapse of a wall outside a toilet during last Sunday's hurling final. Engineers from both Dublin Corporation and the GAA have now completed that inspection and at a meeting today the GAA agreed that a number of other walls would have to be strengthened. Two walls in particular at the back of the Hogan stand where Sunday's accident occurred injuring two people will have to be demolished. The GAA emphasises that the walls do not form part of the main structure but are simply visual screens to toilets similar to these. So how serious is the problem? Uh, the problem is obviously serious when anybody is injured. Uh, uh, we don't like uh, people to be injured while attending our games and we have taken it very seriously from that point of view. But in terms of the uh, remedial action that is required, it, it isn't a serious matter at all. We've had discussions this morning with the uh, officials of the uh, Dublin Corporation and they are satisfied that it will be a simple matter to rectify the damage. But such worries were far from the minds of fans today as they queued up for tickets for next Sunday's football semi-final replay between Dublin and Mayo. A queue of more than 2,000 formed outside the Dublin County Board headquarters. And tickets also went on sale this morning in Mayo.